Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to share Microsoft Loop components. First, we'll copy the component and grant access to it. Then we'll share the component in Teams and Whiteboard. And finally, we'll check who has access to the component and where it's been shared. Before you share your component, make sure you've notified everyone. If you see a plus icon next to someone's name, click it. Then hit share and notify. Next, click the copy icon in the top right. When the dialog box opens, click the access link at the bottom. Here, you can find some sharing options. To share with specific people, click the circular button next to specific people. Enter their names into the text box. Then hit apply. Finally, hit the copy button to ensure the link has been copied correctly. To share your loop component in Teams, simply paste the link into any chat. Before you send the message, take a look at the access link at the top. If you want to share the component with guest users, select people currently in this chat. Then hit apply. Finally, click the send icon. You can also paste your component into a new mail in Outlook or a document in the web version of Word. In Whiteboard, open a new board and click the plus icon on the left. Then select links from the list of options. Paste your link into the URL bar and then hit insert. To go one step further, you can share the component in a Teams meeting. Then, participants can work on the project together in real time. To do that, head to Teams and start a new meeting. Hit the Join button. In the meeting, click Share at the top. Then select Microsoft Whiteboard from the drop-down. Finally, choose the whiteboard containing your loop component. Perfect! You can now talk and collaborate on the project from the meeting room. To check who's got access to the component, hover over it in the loop app and click the access icon in the top right. If you want to keep track of where the component's been shared, click the shared locations icon. Here we can see that the component has been shared in Outlook. And clicking it will take you to the shared location. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.